The Earth's topography can have two big impacts on the radar backscatter that we see in a radar image. The first is just to do with the sampling because the range bins will be different sizes on the ground as you go across the swath. As you change the topography, that will also influence the area over which your range bin is measuring. In a slope that is facing towards you, for example, you may have a very large area that fits into the same range bin that's only a small area on the ground on the far side of a slope. If you've got a larger area over which you're making a measurement, then you will get a larger signal back in that range bin. So that influences the measurement that we make of the radar backscatter. If you know the topography very well, you can accommodate that and you can incorporate that into your measurement of sigma naught by actually normalizing for the area over which you've measured rather than just the projected area onto some reference surface. The other influence of topography is because the scattering from a surface is very dependent on the incidence angle of the wave. Except for very rough surfaces, that are so rough that they scatter energy equally in all directions, is that most surfaces will actually preferentially scatter a lot of the energy in the specular direction. They may still scatter much of that energy in other directions too, but they might disproportionately scatter energy in the specular direction. That means the incidence angle actually has a big impact. We therefore have to take into account what's called the local incidence angle. So this isn't the incidence angle relative to the local vertical, but it's the incidence angle local to the relative normal of the surface that you're imaging. So for example, if you're looking at the near side of a mountain that's facing towards you, your incidence angle relative to the surface slope is actually quite small. Your incidence angle relative to the surface slope on the back side of the mountain is actually quite large. This variation in incidence angle then affects how much energy is scattered back to the sensor. So although the surface may have the same properties, because you're looking at it at different incidence angles, the measured signal that you get is quite different. These impacts of topography are very visible in a radar image through the distortions that you see that are caused by the topography. So layover and foreshortening. We can go some way to compensate for some of these variations due to topography if we know what the topography is. If we know the ground topography, then we can normalize across the area that it's been measured over and we can normalize for the local incidence angle. To normalize for the local incidence angle, we have to make some assumptions about what the surface characteristics are. But it goes some way to uh, making the image a little bit more less dependent on the topographic variation. If you don't have any topographic information, then it's much harder to unravel the information that's contained within the image. Typically you end up projecting onto a reference surface and you have to uh, take account of the fact that the variation in topography will influence the backscatter that you're measuring.